Hey, Alex, how's it going, man? Um, first, um, you know, usually you're starting a, a season at home, maybe against Rutgers, but this season really getting thrown right into the fire uh, at top-ranked Florida Gators. Uh, just your thoughts on, on starting the season against them. Well, it's, it's honestly a great opportunity for us as a team uh, going in against a team like that that's, you know, had a, a good pass against us since I've been here. Uh, I feel like it's, you know, motivating for me as an individual and also, you know, the rest of the team. A lot of us have been, you know, playing them the last couple of years and we haven't come out on top. So we're going up there, you know, hungry and and looking for a good weekend series. Awesome. Next up, we're going to go to Christopher Stock of Inside the U. Stock, go ahead. Hey, Alex. Uh, they're, they're starting pitching. You've obviously seen them with Mace and Leftwich and I assume Barco, but just if you could kind of just talk about maybe the challenges of facing each one of those guys uh, as you've seen them before. Uh, they're all great competitors. I mean, they, they bring high level stuff to the table. They all have, you know, high velocity fastballs and mix in good off speed pitches. So it's going to be a great battle, you know, between them and our lineup. But at the end of the day, I mean, no matter who you face, you still got to, you know, have the same approach. It's It's been the same game we've been playing our whole lives, for most of us at least, and the ball still got to cross the center of the plate and we still got to swing it. So it's going to be a, a fun weekend, like I said. Awesome. Let's go to David Wilson in the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, Alex. Uh, I know Florida would be big in, in any situation, but especially given last year where you guys lose a couple close games to them and then obviously the season ends not much longer after that. Just how exciting is it to kind of go back up there and – uh, maybe try to get get some get a little bit of revenge or, or something off of uh, last season. Uh, it's going to be exciting, no matter how the outcomes have been in the past. I mean, you know, playing against a rival school, you know, Miami versus Gainesville, it's going to be a huge uh, rivalry weekend. Even though there's not going to be you know a packed house, but it's still two thousand people. I think it's it's going to be a lot of people for a COVID year. Um, it should be exciting. It starts our first game of the season. You know, everybody's always got that that jitter that. You know, like Simon to get back out there once you see the lights turn on, even though we're playing during the day. But, you know, it's just that excitement of getting out there. You get to see the other team. You're finally going against, you know, a different type of competition, not just your, you know, inner squads or whatever we've been playing. It's going to be fun. The juices are going to be flowing. And, and I'm excited to get out there and see how we compete against, you know, one of the best teams in the country. All right, Terrell, we have time for a few more. We're going to go to Isabella Didio of the Miami Hurricane. Isabella, go ahead. Hi. So as... As a team captain, as one of the older guys, I was wondering if you and the other captains are like doing anything to make sure that outside of the practice, outside of like the baseball facilities, you guys are staying safe from COVID, um, especially in the week leading up to a series. Um, I, I mean, it's an honor to be a team captain of this team, but it feels like most of the guys are pretty disciplined. They know what's at stake here. They know that now is our time. It's you know, time to just be focused on one thing and one thing only, and that's being able to go out there and play every weekend as a healthy roster. And the more guys we have available, uh, the better we're going to be able to go, you know, into depths of our, our bench and, and our pitching staff. And honestly, I think guys kind of know what they need to do in order to stay safe. And everybody seems to be following protocol. And, and we've been lucky uh, with this whole COVID thing. We haven't really gotten hit too hard. And hopefully it stays that way throughout the whole season. Awesome. All right, Terrell, our last question for you comes from Josh White of WVUM. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Terrell, how are you? Uh, first yeah. off, does Daniel Fetterman name the Friday night starter? Obviously, you've been with Fed for a very long time. Uh, have you seen him kind of develop over the last few years? I know he's worked primarily out of the bullpen, but now in the rotation. And then for you, uh, what improvements have you made to your game coming into your fourth year? Well, Fetterman's always been a bulldog on the mound. I mean, I've, I've played with him for as long as I've been playing baseball my whole life, pretty much. And that guy goes out there, he competes no matter, you know, if he's got his stuff that day or if he doesn't, he's going to make you believe that, that he's got all four of his pitches and everything's working for him, even though, you know, he might have felt a little bit off on one of his pitches in the bullpen. That's kind of the mentality that you want to have as a Friday night guy and as a guy that you want, you know, going out there and leading your pitching staff. Um, he's definitely progressed and in his off-speed pitches, he's always had a good location with his fastball, but I feel like now he's starting to get that, you know, better location of all his off-speed pitches. He's mixing in his cutter and change up real well. Um, and his, his curveball has really come a long way since he started throwing it last summer in Chatham. So, um, and then just personally myself, I feel like it's been the same thing since, since you know, my sophomore year. I'm just trying to work on letting the ball travel, hitting it the other way, using the whole field, kind of letting my power play for itself, not swinging too hard. And on the defensive end, just being there, 
you know, doing what I can. If the ball hits me, make the routine play. And then obviously the spectacular plays are going to come. But just a, making the routine play seems to be a huge thing. And it, you know, kind of keeps our pitchers' momentum going. Hey, Dell, how are you? How's it going, man? Uh, just how excited are you for this season? Obviously, with last year getting cut short. And then what is it like to open up with Florida? Um, we're all excited. I'm super excited. You know, it's been <laughs> maybe about a year that we haven't played an actual game instead of inner squad. Uh, when we're obviously, you know, we're opening up with Florida, and it's going to be, you know, the juices are going to be rolling, and it's going to be fun, you know. That's what we want. Awesome. We're going to go to David Wilson of the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Adele, uh, obviously last year the pitching staff you were working with was uh, a lot of veteran experienced guys. This year you've obviously worked with veteran uh, as a reliever, I guess, mostly, and then two freshmen. Just what has stood out, I guess, first about the two freshmen and uh, what does Fetterman bring as a starter um, that, that you've obviously seen in the past as a, as a reliever? Yeah, so, I mean, the, the two freshmen are, you know, they're lights out. I think they got really good stuff. Um, you know, Rosario, he's been very consistent uh, in our inner squads. He, he's got a really hard fastball and he's got good movement. I know JD has worked with him a, a ton with his, you know, off speeds, which what he, he needed to work when he got here. It's looking a lot better now. And as far as Madero's, Madero's is, now his, his off speed was always good, you know, since he got here. He just needed to, you know, uh, discipline himself and, and just throw more strikes, be able to go right after the pitchers, I mean, the hitters. So um, those two kind of worked a lot with JD. And uh, as far as Fed, you know, Fed's probably our most consistent, you know, pitcher, veteran guy. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a competitor. He was also a starter in uh, the Cape, so he had experience, you know, there. So um, looking forward to that. Awesome. We're going to go to Luis Zabala of CBS4. Luis, go ahead. What's up, Dal? How's it going? Hey, going with those two freshmen heading up to Gainesville to open up the season, you as a catcher, how important is it going to be for you to keep those guys? And even Fed, Fed is an emotional guy. He said that as a closer, he doesn't have to worry about it. He could come in there and blow, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And as a starter, it's maybe your job to keep them, you know, even keel. Uh, what Your role as a catcher in that situation, and, and Gino said you haven't really caught a lot, but – you're going to be dependent on heavily in those type of situations. What's that going to be like going up there for the opening weekend? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I started that honestly in the fall, um, you know, with Maderos and, and um, Alejandro, you know, I, I kind of talked to them. I picked their brains, you know, like what they want me to do as far as setting up, you know, um, where they want me to set up for certain pitches, anything like that, just communicating with them. So it could be easier for the, when the game comes and uh, a lot smoother, you know, we don't have to discuss all that stuff. During the games, I just need to, you know, focus on, you know, or not focus, but like m make sure they're they're still with their game plan and uh, and doing what they wanted to do. So I'm, I'm the guy that's guiding them and making them, you know, feel good and comfortable. Awesome. Our last question for you comes from Christopher Stock of Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. Yeah, Adrian, I was curious about um, you faced Tommy Mace and Jack Lefwich you know, throughout your career, just kind of, if you could touch on each of them and, and maybe the challenges in facing them and having success against them as a team. Yeah, I mean, they're very good, both very good pitchers. You know, they get ahead on the count, which, you know, when, when you're facing a pitcher that gets ahead on the count, uh, it's kind of tough to, you know, uh, take pitches and, and see a couple of pitches. And, uh, you know, I've seen them for, this is going to be my third time I see them both actually. So it's kind of a little bit of an advantage. But still, you know, it's 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 different. You know, I'm sure over quarantine they worked on stuff too. So um, you can't you can't take you know you can't take them for granted. They're very good pitchers, and you just got to compete. Hey, Anthony, how are you? Uh, just for you, up the middle, obviously it looks a little different this year. What's it like, kind of adjusting to some new guys up the middle? Yeah, well, uh, there's a lot of new guys this year, especially middle infielders. You know, they're all new guys. Um, we've all been working in the fall. You know, moving around, switching positions. So I think we're pretty comfortable with ourselves, which wherever we play to, to turn to no, some double plays. Great. Next up, we have David Wilson of the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, Anthony. Um, obviously, heading up to Florida this weekend. Uh, in any situation, that would be a big game. But especially, you know, last year, you guys had those three close losses. And then the season ends not much longer after that. Do you guys still, you know, think about the way that series went? And I guess just how exciting is it to – get a chance to go back up there. Yeah, for sure. I think that's the only se I think that's the only series we really talk about. We've been talking about this past year. It's the only series we all pretty much remember. Uh, there were two close games on Friday and Saturday that we think we should have won. Uh, so we're definitely excited to go back up there and, and get some wins. Awesome. We're going to go to Christopher Stock of Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. 
Hey, Anthony, just curious your your thoughts on uh, Dominic and Yo-Yo, how they've been looking in practices, uh, particularly on defense um, with those guys. Yeah, they've both been looking really good. You know, Dom's been playing a really good shortstop, and Yo-Yo's filling in a third very well for Raymond right now since he's been out the last couple of weeks. Um, but they're very mature freshmen. Um, they've, uh, they've gotten a lot better throughout the fall, even though they were really good to start. Uh, so we're confident with them wherever they play.